Hi everybody and welcome again uh, to another episode. Um, I've had some problems with my sky panels over the last couple of weeks um, and the problems have been that the, um, they just keep getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So they, they operate, they turn on and they operate as normal, but then they just keep getting hotter as the day goes on. So we're talking about a temperature increase of 0.1 of a degree Celsius every three to five minutes. So uh, the problem is uh, two hours later, three hours later, four hours later, you start getting status warnings and you've got to turn the fans up. Um, so this started happening to me about uh, two or three weeks ago and yesterday it happened on over half of my sky panels. Um, but after a, a lot of testing last night, um, so I finished testing at about 3, 3 a.m. I started at about 1 p.m., so just after lunch. So loads, loads of testing. So I was checking things like um, making sure the fan speeds were correct, you know, um, dropping probes in, uh, thermostat probes in, um, and comparing the results to, to sky panels that weren't faulty. A lot of testing, but anyway, I determined that the excess heat was coming from um, this section um, of the unit towards the back, uh, where it backs onto the heat sink. And that's where the computers are. So I thought, well, what could make the computers overheat? And the simple uh, thing I came up with was maybe it's got a layer of dust on it, trapping the heat in. And uh, so, um, and it actually did. So here's the solution. All you need is some compressed air and um, no worries. So good news, easy to fix, and even better news, if you have this as part of your uh, maintenance regime, the fault will never occur again. Now, um, in the fan, um, fan ports here, there's just enough space between the body of the fan um, that you can get a compressed, some compressed air in there and blast away, and you'll be amazed at the crap that comes out. And uh, while you're at it, you might as well blast compressed air through everywhere and, and get as much dust out as you can. But just a word of warning, if you've never um, uh, cleaned a... Um, oh, hi, Fletch. If you've never cleaned a compressed, uh, with compressed air on a computer system or anything with cooling fans, the cooling fans um, usually spin at a couple of hundred RPM, but if you hit them with 90 PSI of air, they're going to spin really rapidly. They're going to go whoop, and um, you're going to you're going to basically, you could destroy the fan motor or the bearings. So my advice is um, jam the fan so it doesn't spin and then blast away with your compressed air. And the other thing I found last night is um, if you take the diffuser out, there's enough space in these gaps here that you can blast some compressed air and get some dust coming out of the unit as well. So very, very simple fix. Um, hopefully if you've got sky panels and you've had this issue, hopefully this solution works for you as well. I'm Andrew Locke, take care. I'm going to go back to bed after this gear rental uh, eventually rocks up. Take it easy.